What's going on, everybody? I'm Blake from the How Do You Figure podcast, once again, recording alone as I'm doing another unboxing video. thought I'd get up early this morning. I haven't had my coffee. I haven't even had water or breakfast. My hair is still a little bit damp. That means this is as straight as it is going to be. I'm excited to do this. I think you're excited to see it. We are doing today some classic Spider-Man Marvel Legends. Now, if you listen to the podcast, which if you don't, hop on iTunes. How do you figure? Find it. Listen to it. Leave a review of it. You then would have listened to the episode with Brad Walker, DC's own, about these very figures and how awesome they are, how excited I was for them. If you haven't listened to that episode, you have to, you must. It'll change your entire life. What's your five-year plan? I'll tell you what it is. Today, you're going to go listen to that episode I just told you to listen to. Then, you're going to reevaluate your job. You're going to go after your dream. You're going to get your dream. You're going to excel at that dream. You're going to get yourself a nice partner, a supportive, kind, loving partner. And then, house, picket fence, golden retriever. And where does it start? With the episode about these Spider-Man Marvel legends. Now, let's start some unboxing. Let's start with the man, the myth, the legend, the Marvel legend, Spider-Man. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this packaging because it's great. It's really one of the appeals of this entire line, of the entire retro line. I've talked about the retro line before and how it reminds me of old packaging. Obviously, that's what it's doing. It harkened back, but this isn't just that. This is the packaging. This isn't harkening back. This is bringing it back. This is the return. This is the king. This is the god. This is it. So you have to look at that and realize I, it makes me miss traditional, you know, brick and mortar stores looking for toys, flipping through these. They're on the hooks. You move them. You're going through real nice and fun. Uh, it, you know, going to Target with my mom after schools. If I got like a good grade or, or something, I didn't get a lot of good grades. So I did other nice things. Uh, so it's awesome. It's perfect. I love the logo. The animated series was my gateway to Spider-Man. So seeing even just that logo up there is awesome. I know a lot of people now, their Spider-Man is Tobey Maguire. He's got thick, nice details on his suit. It's very texturized. This is mine. I'm also a sucker for a good checklist. So obviously when this has that on the back, you can just see them all. That also reminds me of the fun of being a kid. You'd find a new toy. You'd look at the back and boom, there's a whole new wave. Oh my God, I have to find all of these. I must. It feels like they don't want you to open these. It's like kind of it got that card in a card situation going on. I don't know really what else to call it. The only two in this line that I didn't get are the Daredevil and the Peter Parker. Mostly because I needed to save some money. And by save money, of course, I mean Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is coming out for the PS4, and I needed to make some tough choices. But I figured of the four, of the six, of the five, one, two, three, four, five, using the bad grades, uh, you know, I got the, the few, it's six, Spider-Man counts as the six. So here we go. The first thing that I really like about him, and it's something Brad brought up on the show, are the dark, almost Romita-esque eyes. You've got two heads there for his emotions, because for a suit made of fabric, it's important that it has eye movement, and you can see what the hero is feeling, both in terms of a narrative and in terms of intimidation for villains. Everyone knows this. Okay, so he's out for the packaging done it. We've driven the car off the lot, which means it's decreased in value by 50%. There he is. This is immediately my favorite Spider-Man Marvel legend. The paint is a little bit darker. He's a little bit beefier. He's not super beefy, which is good. I like my Spider-Man a little bit sleek, but I don't like him too skinny, you know? So you can see him. A lot of articulation right at the ankles, at the knees. You can get him doing all sorts of 
got that thigh one. He's got his thwip thwip arms. I'm enchanted by it. I think I have the other, the last uh, retro Marvel Legends Spider-Man, the pizza figure for a little comparison. So there he is. You can already kind of see, we'll get them kind of in similar poses. You can already kind of see, you know, darker paint. He's more muscular. I mean, it almost looks like a Spider-Man that's you know been doing it for a while. He's even like a hair taller. You can see his eyes are a little bit bolder. And the only downfall is he doesn't have pizza. But you know, for all the talk about hands, you know, he's got fists. He doesn't have any grip wall crawling hands. This guy does. But that makes it, you know, hard, I think, for him to hold the pizza in the first place. So what's the point of a pizza figure if you can't eat the pizza? Still a good one. This is it. Here's the Space Venom Miles Morales Marvel Legend, one of my other favorites. The other thing I didn't talk about is his I'm a sucker for the kind of bulky animated spider. I love it. It's my favorite. Um... Here he is, Miles. So you have like Miles skinny, because he's younger, he's new, he's thin. This almost gives it more of a mentor feel. It almost feels more like Spider-Verse or a crossover uh, when Peter is a little bit older and Miles is the younger, as opposed to them being close in age. This is also one of my favorite figures. I'm so glad I bought it all those years ago. Having him get too beefy would be like the Venom mold. I think he's right below it. I think it's perfect. This is a, the Venom from the Venom movie. Uh, and you can kind of see already what I mean by where he would get too bulky. Spider-Man doesn't get there. He nails it. The other one to compare to is our superior Spider-Man. He actually kind of has a similar build to uh, the pizza, aforementioned pizza one. And those are the comparisons. I mean... I think it knocks it out of the park. Electro. I've been wanting a good Electro for so long. Uh, I think he's a great Spider-Man villain. I think they really did him dirty in uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. This is not an Electro that's going to be blowing out birthday candles. It's an Electro that will be coming up with uh, dumb schemes that won't work, which is what I want him to do. He is like straight up out of the comics. There's no embarrassment about it. There's nothing hiding it. He's the comic book Electro. He's got his electric hands, which I'm a sucker for, whether they are on Ghostbusters figures, whether they are on Palpatine. A weird thing about me is that I love lightning powers. I think they're awesome. <laughs> Infamous Palpatine Electro. Uh, when Chris and Bell is in Heroes, even anybody who shoots a bolt of lightning is a, uh, a powerhouse in my book. They, get, they nailed this one. He's got a little peg in the back, so I guess you have a stand or a display or a diorama or anything. This one came with kind of a, a crooked angle, so we'll go ahead and fix that. But same points of articulation as the Spider-Man. He's also pretty, not too beefy, but beefy enough. There's some weight behind him. The zap hands are great. Put those in probably a little bit later, but you know, we've got kind of a lot going on. I mean, I think the paint jobs are really good. He's like a nice dark green. It pops. The lightning's really good. The face sculpt is really nice. Uh, everything kind of comes together for this one. Solid figure. I mean, they're all solid figures, you know. Then we have Gwen Stacy. My favorite of Spider-Man's. As I was saying, I love Gwen. She's one of my favorite Spider-Man characters. I think she's better than MJ. Uh, this one, of course, comes with an MJ head. However, this costume is very unique and specific to the night Gwen Stacy died. Spoiler alert for a comic that came out before I was born. Um, so I think this is fantastic. 
I really wouldn't mind. I think, and I couldn't find any evidence of this, I, I think MJ wears a similar costume in the animated series, I think. I wanted to look it up before, but as we discussed the earliness and the before coffiness. Ironically, she actually has the most stuff that she comes with. There she is, Gwen Stacy. Even when he wins, he loses. I think she's the best. I think she's the best in the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon. She's awesome. In the comic books, she's awesome. Even in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, she's great. Uh, I always say there's a great Gwen Stacy short film in Amazing Spider-Man 2, but the feature itself is lacking. So even her head sculpt is really good. She looks great. And there's the MJ head, which I will say really, really resembles the animated series. Fantastic. Comes with her tote bag, her Midtown High School textbook, and this rolled up Bailey Bugle newspaper. Gwen Stacy, ladies and gentlemen. She is fantastic. And she stands up well. I feel like a lot of the female Marvel legends, they just give them these high boots and they don't look tough to get up. It's deeply, deeply frustrating to me because why not just make them be able to stand like everybody else? Okay, this next one, it's kind of weird. This one is one that I've been wanting for so long. I missed pretty much every other Green Goblin they've done. I think the Goblin they've done, the Hobgoblin, build a figure, the Dima Goblin. So when this just came out and existed, because I mean, if there's going to be just one villain, Spider-Man, it's the Goblin. One of my favorite figures growing up was the uh, Love Goblin one that they did. So I'd love to get that. I actually think I got Hobgoblin before I even knew about the other goblins. The glider. There he is. Again, the paint job on these guys is phenomenal. It just pops. He looks psychotic. I mean, he looks absolutely insane. I feel like it would have been really easy to go back and use like Oh, and he's got this great texture on his suit. It's very scaly or uh, I guess chain mail is what it would actually be. Uh, but it, oh, that feels awesome. He also has a little nice peg hole in the back. The Spider-Man and Gwen don't. Yeah, no peg hole. There he is. A tail as old as time. Um, then he's got his, his pumpkin bomb. Always good. And again, they really got this head sculpt of the animated series really well. I, the, the face technology on these Marvel Legends classics has been just phenomenal. This entire wave is great. I'm hesitant to get the Peter Parker and the Daredevil, if I'm being honest. I kind of want them, but I'm not like going crazy about it. Maybe if it was a different Daredevil suit. I do love that character, but I, I just, I don't, that's not really the suit that I would want. Uh, the Peter Parker is very, very tempting, but I got to say, I think if I had to rank these four, it would probably go Spider-Man, Goblin, Gwen, and Electro. And they're all awesome, right? Check them out. So I hope they keep doing this. I know they just announced the Doctor Doom one. Uh, and going along with kind of the other Spider-Man ones is going to be a, a Kingpin, which I have pre-ordered, and a Mysterio, which is awesome. So the more we can do these just comic book slash animated series, I mean, anything from the 90s animated stuff is going to be right here for me. Any classic costumes, anything from old Spider-Man, old Romita drawings are just right up my alley. Spider-Man's obviously my favorite character. There he is on the glider. Look at that dude go. Um, 
so I, I hope they keep going. I mean, we saw a lot of the X-Men stuff, X-Force. We're seeing the Fantastic Four. They obviously did a few older waves with Cap and Hawkeye and that. So let us know what other Marvel lines you want to see get the classic treatment, what box sets you're nostalgic for, which type of artwork you want to see. Obviously, uh, seeing any of the X-Men animated stuff on just cards back would be phenomenal spider-man is mine maybe we'll get an iron man animated series one that would be a real treat the dr doom hopefully they do the other fantastic four characters uh hopefully we get a lot of these down the line i think they're great i think that's my time it is definitely time to start the rest of my day 